Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this one, I'm going to do the Geek Benchmark 5 test in the Realme GT Neo 2 after the recent software update. Just yesterday only friends, I did receive the software update in the Realme GT Neo 2 and I'm getting this kind of questions regarding the Geek Benchmark 5. So you might be wondering why really the Geek Benchmark 5 is slightly interested. The main reason is because I'll try to explain you. So these are the comments which I'm getting as you can see. So I did do the Android Benchmark test and the Geek Benchmark 5 scores in this Realme GT Neo 2 slightly less than usual. So let me show you the results what I got in the Geek Benchmark. Doesn't matter how many times I do, doesn't matter what kind of settings you use. I mean GT mode or game space mode, high performance mode, everything. The score is not increasing, I mean more than 3000. So it did increase a little bit kind of 3000 but not more than that. In the iQOO 7 device with the Snapdragon 870 chipset, you can see the score, how it is. 3500, 3400, 3600 in terms of the multi-core performance in the iQOO 7 device. So even the Realme GT Neo 2 has also got the same kind of uh, Snapdragon 870 processor but that's what a slightly kind of weird thing let me try to test after this update whether we can actually get any kind of high scores or not in this kind of uh, testing i'll try to uh, not use gt mode and i'll try to use a gt mode in this both ways we'll try to find out what is going on with the geek benchmark five results first let me try to disable this live wallpaper so live wallpaper is disabled and next i need to clear everything from the process manager so there's no applications running at this moment third party applications all the apps are completely clear from the background you can see everything is clean and now let me to open the geek benchmark and start running the test let's connect to the wi-fi because this test requires slightly internet connection so let's see friends what is what will be the benchmark score we can actually expect without using any kind of gt mode and with using gt mode two different testings which i'll try to do after the recent october security patch update so in case if you want to know more details about this device, so make sure to follow the playlist which I created and for the battery running, battery on mobile gameplay test, try to watch this video, 100 to 0 percentage, which I did do. This phone is really, really good friends. It came close to, I think, seven hours of gameplay test with 80 percent brightness capacity. Wow, that's incredibly good in the battery left section. That's I, I did not expect this much of huge difference, but still the good. So I can be back after some time. So right now we got the results which is about uh, 1023 in a single code and the multi-core we got about 3011 multi-core results not bad so as you can see so slightly kind of close to 3000 at least so now let me need to use a gt mode and let's do the gig benchmark 5 test results as well so let me need to turn on the gt mode the gt mode is turned on as you can see and i'll try to close this application i'll try to reopen again so after turning on the GT mode, now you'll be able to see is there any kind of difference in the CPU and the GPU, I mean single core and the multi core performance results or not. So again, I'll be back after some time. Then we'll try to compare the single core and the multi core before and after using the GT mode after the recent update. So right now with it using GT mode, the Geek Benchmark 5 results gonna finish and we got the results as well as you can see friends. So single core uh, 1021 and multi core 2951. So there's nothing much huge difference with, the sing with using GT mode and without using GT mode even after the recent update as well. Still the Geek Benchmark score remains to be slightly kind of similar to the previous results. As you can see. So that's it friends, thank you for watching this video and this is a quick uh, test on this Realme GT Neo 2 after the recent software update doing the Geek Benchmark 5 test results. And see in the next video, I'll be more updates. In case if you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. Meanwhile, signing off and bye.